Welcome back. I'm saying stuff too. <laughs> they can't see me, so it's just you. It's all you. Okay. <laughs> you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I can't turn it to include you. It's the face track or something that's on. Yeah. Um. Okay, so today we've got some exciting news. We are going to... Today's going to be a pretty crappy situation. <laughs> Can you guess what we're doing? What's another one? Um, uh, toilet. You just gave it away. <laughs> you could have been like, I'm going to remove my throne or something. That was the joke, though. That's why I said toilet. Okay. That, that was that, the part. <laughs> I don't understand how I have to always explain jokes to you. You don't have to explain jokes to me. I got it. Okay. You just ruined the, the yes, build-up. Yes, I know. That was the idea, though. Okay, that Ruining was the it. joke. That was the joke. So, <laughs> removing the downstairs bathroom. There's two downstairs half baths. One of them's already been removed and has already been tiled. That's the one that's off of the mudroom and the laundry room. The one that we're doing today is probably the one that's going to be used more often by us or guests yes. or whatever. So, we have the tile that's in for that. Um, but we have to actually remove everything. It's the bathroom with the um, the beautiful carpet in it. I don't know why we're removing the carpet. It's so stunning. Um, it is. It's good stuff. It's I good mean, stuff. the stains kind of add a nice texture and character to it. That's stains from us because we've essentially turned that bathroom into like the dog yeah. bathroom because like we'll add water to their food and stuff like that. So their food, everything is like kept in that bathroom. Um, it's not really used at the moment so we're gonna rip out the toilet we're gonna rip out the vanity that bathroom also has um, all the chair rail chair rail around it so we have to pull that out as well and then we're rolling up the carpet and by we I mean you because I'm gloves. not touching that I'm gonna put on two or three pairs of gloves like infested <laughs> I don't care how clean you kept it you know in, a, in the span of that carpet's life but it was in a bathroom so it's probably loaded with like bacteria and stuff that's just what carpet does in a bathroom so we're hoping that the subfloor will be in good condition um that there was no flooding or leaking or pooling of water in there that would uh, force us to replace we're going to show you guys the um the family vaulted room. the family room uh -huh. the vaulted ceiling room and show you guys where we are with that which is pretty exciting that's been kind of a um a tedious task um painting we're going to take you guys through that and then i purchased this really cool crayon so we're going to show you how that worked out too so you want to say anything before we go you want to ruin any more jokes? Toilet. <laughs> you want to try her out? I'm not trying it out. You try. Have a seat. Are you allowed to? No. Why? Naturally, we gotta test her out. <laughs> and you're not gonna do it. I'm not. How's it feel? <laughs> Good. Good height here. <laughs> The phone test? <laughs> you just play with it. I think it's good though. We'll take four of them. Okay. Alright, let's wrap them up. So many options. It's an elimination invasion. You're an idiot. An excavation elimination. Evacuation. Evacuation elimination. Excavation means digging. Pardon? Excavation means digging. Digging? Yeah. What? So many great options. Which one are we going with? That one. Toilet acquired. Faster! Faster! <laughs> <laughs> it was the perfect hawk spot. Alright, so just a quick update of the before, that beautiful blue carpet. beautiful knob. Dan and the knob have something in common. Okay, so the first step of this bathroom deconstruction is removing this toilet. Sags, what are you doing in there, buddy? Um, we haven't used this toilet for anything really. Uh, it's really disgusting. We've got the water to the toilet is shut off, but there's still water in the bowl. And one way to get rid of water is to add more water, and we're gonna sort of force a flush to get rid of most of this. Hopefully, I've never done this before.
Here it goes. All right. Check behind it. Behind the mirror? Yeah. There's nothing behind this mirror. So it's been glued to the wall? Yeah, they built it into the wall somehow. So maybe that thing that we'll use to get the cherry rail off, we can pop behind it? Possibly. And then break the mirror and have bad luck for what, seven years? Just seven. Just seven? You know we're going to break this mirror. No, it's not going to get broken, I guarantee it. How do you know that? Give me the tool, you'll see. We just found a treasure. I don't know if you can see it. Nighthawk. Something to do with fire or carbon monoxide, really useless stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh yeah. Do you feel, feel like you're full of crap right now? <laughs> well, you are. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> New toilet location. Are you okay in there? What? Are you okay? Yeah. Good thing the toilet's out or I would think that you were trying to work something out. <laughs> Do you want me to open the door? Uh, not yet. Okay. Open it? All in one piece. All in one. I wonder how hard this will be to remove. Hey. Less oh, is mess. that the file? Yeah. Perfect. We can save that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm really confused about how to get this mirror off. I'm not. You smash it. I no. That's seven years of bad luck. Okay. So how do you? What do you think? <coughs> Excuse me. Go around the edge, the back side. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That might work. That's good. See, I know. I tell you everything how to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> Careful because the nails behind it. You're so strong, honestly. They Careful. really built that in, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen like a built-in mirror like this. We'll just slide out. <laughs> um, so I glued. Oh, there's screws here. To the wall. Yeah. That's okay. You have to get the little wood piece. There's a little wood, wood trim around it still. Yeah, I know. This here. I don't want to put holes in the drywall though. That's the thing. Yeah. Good. Good job. That last piece, if I take that off, that might, the mirror might fall forward. I don't right? think so. No? no, it's been there for how many years? Now try not to stare at yourself as you're working. Do you want me to hold the mirror? No, it should be fine. Oh! 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 Babe! I get the seven years not you. We live together. <laughs> <laughs> We're married. Anything bad that happens to you. It's attached. I don't know what's going on here. It's falling. Catch. Can I put the camera down? What? I need help! Yeah, you do. Go for it. And folks, as you all know, always wear sandals, no socks. That is the safest way to do any form of removal. That's right. Um, here in Canada. Go for it. So you've got to grip it <laughs> with a proper footwear. <laughs> oh my gosh. The only thing I feel like I need is some safety goggles. No, you'll be fine. That's so loud. That is like loud. Wow. Good job. I'm a two watt kind of girl. You're you're hold on, you're 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 Wait. what? <laughs> A two whack kind of girl. 
All right, what are you gonna do next? I'm gonna smash um, that little piece right there that seems to be supporting this guy. And everybody keeps worrying about my feet. Listen. What do you I, mean everybody? I do. Everybody's worried. These are steel-toed sandals. <laughs> Your pants are gonna get hurt. No, they're not. They're fine. Go put shoes on, please. Okay, fine. I need to take off my wedding ring. I don't think so. That hurt. Who are you planning on having over? <laughs> Who is she? Come on. And it's all pulled up. The carpet is gone. That's the that's where the toilet was. There's a kind of a hole. No, oh, kitty, don't get in here. That that just the last thing you want to do, kitty, is get in here. It's kind of gross. There was like an existing hole there. It looks like they cut out some drywall and they taped it and they insulated it. A little bit worried about what that might be, uh, but I'll find out when I get to it. And then over here, where the vanity was, it has all been ripped out, and we're ready. Well, we're not quite ready, but we're almost ready to uh, to get the tile in here. We finally started painting the family room. Family room, I think that's what we're officially calling it. Do you hear that? What? Can you hear that? The sound of progress? The sound of people screaming watching us paint wood? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The soft, soft, what are you doing? It's gonna be fine, everybody. It's gonna be fine. The wood is, at least we didn't take it down, right? Yeah, that's true. Gotta keep the character. Looking good, baby. Hey. You've done so much. It's taking a long time. How much did I do? None so far, but you're gonna do a lot soon. But that's because I shoveled the entire driveway. Half of it. <laughs> you say it like that's nothing. It's 150 feet. Probably, yeah. So we finished painting just the one wall and as we were doing it and putting the white over top of it, we noticed that there was a bunch of like cracks and creases. So we had to go back over uh, some of the spots with wood filler just because we don't want any like variations. We want it to be smooth. We don't want any like dark spots because you'll really be able to see it with it painted white. The only issues that we're having is in the corners here, we're gonna have to, because we can't really get in with, with the wood filler, let alone sand it down afterwards, we're gonna have to use a, uh, what did we say we were gonna have to use? Caulking. A caulking. So we'll just take a caulker, go around all the edges. Um, but as of right now, this one wall is done. Primed twice, except for the base over here. I'm about to go in with my second coat of primer over here on this wall. And then just the base here needs, I think two coat or one more coat as well. The ceilings have been vaulted, which is so, so, so exciting. So we're looking for a chandelier and we're gonna leave these two beams exposed. And then we're still trying to figure out what to do with the fireplace because I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the rocks are showing like a very red pigmented color, like this one here this one here, and some of them have speckles of sparkle in it, and as much as I love sparkle, I don't really like it in the rock in the house. We're definitely gonna reclad this piece here, as well as the, that's not the mantle, the base piece, I guess that's the mantle. But we are painting this room white, so we're gonna try using the blow paint, the spray gun. We're gonna see how that works because Jan and I have never done that before, so we don't know how it's gonna turn out. Hi, Santa's little helper. It's been a nightmare painting in here because we like to have, obviously, our animals out and around with us, <laughs> but Sage has literally destroyed everything we've put down as protection. Like, he just did not care. Or it was just his way of helping us, you know, so. He's turned this into his playroom. It's official. Everything has been painted and primed twice. Not painted and primed, sorry. Primed twice. <laughs> and then we're going to blow paint it twice. That's it. All right, putty pencil time. 
a lot of people on Instagram wanted to know how this baby works. Okay. I don't know if I like it already. You really got to get it in there, but like a crayon, you don't want it to snap. This kind of takes a lot of effort, actually. No, I like the wood filler better. I would have already been on to the, like the next three. This is just making a mess. And it's like really difficult. Like you can still see the hole. There we go. All right, let's try this one. That's not so bad. I think I still like the wood filler. This is definitely easier on my fingers, but it definitely takes some pressure to to do it. Sure we got Dan here. Reflection. We've got a real man. Um, because as we all know, women just aren't as good at things as men are. So <laughs> you better you better make sure you let people know you're joking about that. I am joking. Of course okay. I'm joking. You never know. With the internet. <laughs> Careful. See now little pieces. Like, stop. Show them the pencil. Yeah. It's like fraying at the tips of it. You gotta press pretty hard, I'm finding, to get the crayon actually in there. In the hole. Come down here. Try these two. <clears throat> okay. Do you like holding it? Yeah, but... I didn't like holding it. But, like, it's really hard to actually fill... The hole. Yeah. I'm not sure how they came up with this design. And these are little holes, folks. I We're not know. talking about like gaping holes here. It's it's in theory it's a great idea. But in reality, save not your five dollars. So yeah, I don't know about this. Alright, well at least we're on the same page. Yeah. Well that's good. Uh hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of work, not really. It was okay. It didn't go too too uh badly. It went pretty smooth. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I can't wait to. You could have lost a toe. Steel toed boot, steel toed, steel toed flip flops, and a hard hat. This is what happens when you move out to the country. <laughs> <laughs> at least I wasn't wearing shorts. Oh, at least. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so today went well. We got the toilets. Mm -hmm. um, actually, we got a pretty good deal on those. I think it was, they were $250. It's like we 50 got, bucks off each, I think. Yeah, which is good because we bought four. We wanted all the uh, toilets to be consistent throughout the entire house. Mm -hmm. So in your previous house, you had difficulty finding... My previous house, I had, a, I had a tough time. I kept, see, I wanted a toilet. <laughs> I wanted a toilet that was sleek, that was aerodynamic, good on gas, <laughs> Coming from the guy who wouldn't even test drive the ones today. That's right. That's right. I wouldn't. I mean, I know. I know. I listen. I know what I like. A toilet's a toilet. Is a toilet. <laughs> no, it's not. But uh, I like the the look of the toilet is more important than the yeah. feel. Today, of the toilet. what was really nice about the ones that we found is that they uh, they didn't. Um, yeah. Like um, not tether. Taper. Um, taper. They didn't like taper in. So yeah, with the bottom of the toilet. They just go all the way around. So it's really nice for cleaning because I don't like it when um, it they just... have. It almost looks like guts, like toilet guts yeah. when they're exposed. We don't like those. We like the nice smooth outside. So that's why we picked the toilets that we did. So yeah, I'm pumped about that. Go figure. And then what else? Oh, we like. We hope you like how far we came on that room. Um, that's the, right. The family. The family room. room. Um, yeah, that room has been a process, but we've been taking our time doing it right instead of just rushing through it. So I'm, th I'm pretty pleased with how everything's been turning out mm -hmm. over there too. So yeah, little by little guys, little by little. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll see you in the next one. Whenever the next one is, thank you so much. Remember to click the like button, follow us on uh, the house into home Instagram page because we post a lot more there than we do on YouTube and follow our cat and fo Sage follow cat. Sage cat. Yes. He's uh <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a joke than like being serious. Yeah. But if you want to check him out, he is a cute little handsome devil. He's our little influencer. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.